Okay, um, this video is for Melanie to show you how to use this camera, uh, a Canon PowerShot uh, A590, um, and how to use it uh, in an interval mode using um, a camera hack called CHDK. And um, I'm going to use this camera. It's got a card in it, um, a memory card. Um, this one's quite large, 32 gigabyte, but 8 gigabyte or 16 gigabytes fine. And it already has the software hack on it. There's a software hack uh, called CHDK for uh, and a script for uh, intervalometer shooting, and it's already on that card. So if you've got the camera that uh, is is compliant with CHDK and the appropriate uh, hack on a card in the camera, um, you can run it. And um, this assumes that you've already got that set up. Uh, you also need a camera stand or tripod or something to hold the camera steady. I got this at Active Surplus for about nine bucks. It's great. And um, although you can just run on the camera batteries, uh, this is a um, power supply. Okay, so there's a plug on one end. Right? just plugs into the wall and this plug part plugs in the in the camera so I'm going to start with that I'm going to plug the power supply uh, into the uh, power receptacle and uh, then I'll be able to put the other end into the camera okay so it's got this little jack thing and uh, see if I could focus this In this little door here, you can open this up, and there is a place for this right in there. Okay, so you plug that in there. This doesn't have batteries at the moment. Okay, there are no batteries, uh, so it's going completely on this power supply. Okay, so um, in order to uh, get the hack to work, initiate the hack, um, you need to start the camera in preview uh, review mode. This little switch here switches between a shooting mode at the top, and if I pull it down, it's in review mode. So the blue is review, the red is shooting. So up, shooting, down is review. So push it into the re down or review mode uh, before you turn on the camera. And then you turn on the camera just by pushing this button here. So you push that button on, and it turns on like so. Okay, now um, there's a, a menu button here and this little print button here. We'll be using both of those buttons and this joystick with the menu button in the middle. So as I give you instructions, um, this joystick has an up, down, right, and left position uh, and a middle uh, set button, okay? So uh, we're going to start by pushing the menu button, and we get this menu. Let's see if I can get this up close so you can see what's going on. I'll focus it. Okay, and um, we're going to use the uh, up joystick position uh, to really go actually to the bottom um, menu item. Okay, um, and it should say firm update, which stands for firmware update. So if you can't find it, just scroll around till you find it. Uh, it'll be there somewhere. Just look for firm update. And when you get to firm update, push the middle button, the, the uh, set button. And then it'll ask you, do you want to update the firmware? And you toggle right over to the OK position and push OK. Now what's happening is the camera will load the software hack onto the camera uh, so that you can use it. Okay, once you get that little CHDK flash screen, um, uh, that means it's loaded. All right, so now we can slide this uh, a mode button up to shooting, okay, and then we can shoot. Okay, you can see here's the, um, the screen is actually active now, okay. So now what you can do is you can set the camera up to shoot uh, any way you want. Um, with the regular menu settings, um, if you push the menu, um, you have 
various kinds of settings that you can use. All the regular settings that the camera normally will have. Um, and there's also um, these other settings here. So if you want to change the um, white balance right now, it could be that I want to, it's in automatic, but I could put it into tungsten. Um, that might be a bit better, um, but you might want one of the other light settings. And you can also change, uh, oops, um, you can change the, um, oops, hang on, what am I doing here? Sorry, you can change the, uh, the way the drive mode works. Um, this is in a vivid mode. You can take the vivid mode off. Um, and there's various other settings, the way the light meter works, uh, the resolution, and the, the size of the image. All of these things can be changed um, to get exactly what you want, okay? Um, and just play with that, and then, um, um, then you'll probably want to put it on a, a tripod. So uh, if you do have a tripod or, or a, 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 a thing to work with like this, let me fo refocus this. Um, actually, the way this works, let me focus it. This guy, um, it's beautiful actually, it's got this base here and this part here that screws off. So you can take this off and put, make this shorter or get a couple make them longer. Um, and then this nut here it makes it adjust. So I can uh, screw this onto here like that, tighten that up, and then put this base on here. Like that. And then I can tip this, uh, depending on where that little open slot is. Oops, move that forward, and then now I can have this set up like that to shoot whatever I want, okay? This is a little bit off balance, so normally you would screw this down into a board or something like that, or put a weight on it so it doesn't move. Screwing it down to something is probably better, but you can also use a tripod. Anyway, um, uh, you probably want to set all that up before you get the camera shooting, um, but I'm going to take this off just to show you how to get the camera shooting in intervalometer mode, okay? But th that's also part of the setup. You want to get everything set up, get the camera set up, both in terms of how it's shooting and um, how it's pointing and how it's mounted. Um, set up your whatever you're shooting, get all that working, and then once you're ready to start shooting, you'll shoot. So now, uh, now what we'll do is we will invoke the uh, the hack and to do that you'll watch at the bottom of the screen here for an indicator that it's coming on and we'll push the print button here so push the print button and you will see this little thing on the bottom of the screen appear um, and it's, uh, it says alt and then this here interval shooting is an indicator of the, um, the, the script that it's running so hopefully your camera is already set up to run that script, so I won't show you how to get to that script. Um, but what you do need to do is you need to set up the parameters of the interval. So for that, you press the menu button, and, you, and, and you're going to press the menu button while this alt is in position. If I print the, the, uh, push the print button, uh, it'll toggle in and out of that mode. Okay, see how that thing, that blue thing on the bottom goes in and out? Okay. When, when it's off, uh, the menu button is, is just the regular menu, menu, right? But when it's on, the menu button will give you a totally different menu. And uh, this is the menu that will help you set up um, your interval. So what we'll do is in this main, main menu, you will toggle down to scripting parameters, okay? And then push the set button. And then you will see um, a bunch of stuff at the top, but what you probably want to look at most is the interval shooting parameters. And uh, initially it'll show you that you can shoot up to 30,000 pictures. And these are the intervals. Um, right now it's set up to, to shoot at every 15 seconds. Um, but it could be any number of minutes and any number of seconds. Okay, and you just toggle back and forth with the toggle button to change that number. So let's make it pretty fast. We're down to 
uh, five seconds, a five second interval. Uh, you know, the, the 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 interval that you set, well, it, well, is sort of up to you, and we can talk about that and maybe another time. But um, let's just say you want uh, the camera to shoot every five seconds. So you get that to where you want it, and then you push the menu button to get out of the menu, and now you're ready to shoot. So now, um, let's say I want to shoot this thing here. Oops. Um, just press the shutter button. Okay, press the shutter button, and you see the camera is, is telling you that it's shooting, and it just made a shot, and it shot one out of 30,000 pictures, and it's counting down. Now let's take another shot. Okay, so it's just going to keep shooting every five seconds. Okay, and it's going to keep going until um, you stop it, and you can just press the shutter button again and it'll stop and it'll say interrupted and it stops. You push the shutter button again and it begins again starting from one okay and you can keep shooting until you stop it or um, it'll stop when the camera card fills up uh, or um, if you were to pull this power uh, or if you pull the plug out of the wall or if you had a power interruption Okay, because you, you've got endless power, the only thing stopping you would be um, the card filling up. Sometimes uh, some sort of glitch happens and the camera will stop. So you have to uh, periodically check the camera to make sure it's still running, uh, and that should be fine. Um, there are ways of turning off the screen if you don't want the screen to show. Um, but you don't have to worry about it consuming power because it's, it's plugged into the wall. But the, the easiest way to turn off the screen is um, this top jack up here is for a... Um, it's really for a USB cable which allows you to play the images on a TV set. Um, and any kind of uh, audio jack plug like your headphone set will plug in there. If you plug anything in there like your headphone jack what it'll do is it'll send the signal uh, from the screen into that jack and it'll take it off of the screen. Um, you don't have to worry about you know what it'll do to your headphones. It won't do anything to your headphones but the thing it does do is it turns off your screen uh, which could be something that would be useful to you. So that's it. Okay. Um, and then we're going to turn it off, just turn it off, and then, uh, then you're done. So I'll just review that again very quickly um, without the, all the description, um, starting by just turning it off. I'll turn it off. So now the camera is off. It's very bright. Why is it so bright? Uh, just to see if I can adjust this camera, the shooting camera, so it's better. Okay, so we to turn it on, put it in review mode then turn it on. Okay. It shows you the last picture that was shot. That's not a live image. That's the last picture that was shot. Um, then you push the menu button. Uh, toggle down until you get to firmware update. Push the menu, the set button in the middle. Toggle over to OK. Press OK. All right. And uh, it should be running now. Then you can go up to shoot, go into shooting mode, change any settings you want to do. Once you're ready to shoot, uh, enter the, press the print button, okay, and then you can just start shooting, okay, and, and it'll shoot, generally it'll shoot at whatever setting you had it at last time. It'll save the last setting. Um, if you don't like that setting, what you'll have to do is stop the camera, um, press the menu button, I'm, pr I'm sorry, not press the menu button. Stay in this alt mode down here. Press the menu button is down here. And yes, you do press the menu button, but that was the wrong button. Then you go to scripting parameters, push scripting parameters, parameters, and then go down to change the print settings, minutes and seconds, to whatever you want. Then push the menu button to get out of that, and then just push the shutter button to start. Okay. If you if you decide that you want to change the camera settings somehow, let, let's say you want to zoom in or something like that. Uh, you have to turn this off. 
I mean, um, stop the interval shooting, then press the print button to get out of this mode. Then you could do something like zoom in. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. Okay. Uh, it's not really, so I have to do the manual focus maybe. How can I get that to work? There, now it's focusing. Okay, beautiful. So now I've got the zoom activated. And then I go push the print button to go into the alt mode. And then I can start shooting. Okay. And it will do that every five seconds. Okay. And there you go. I think that's everything. And turn it off. Um, and there and there. Okay. SD A590. Okay, hope that helps.